Greetings, brothers and sisters in the Lord. Um, this is your brother greeting you, Pastor Lenny Kungwenyama, also known as the Divine Technician. So I would like to welcome you on um, Season 3 of our new identity in Christ. This is Episode 1 of 31. So we did Season 1 in January 2022, and we did Season 2 in January 2023. So the Lord has given me this mandate to actually do these seasons every January. That's why we call it a day one day's journey because we are doing it in the month of January. When people are fasting and praying, we are diving into the word. Hallelujah. So let me give you a few announcements as we are starting today. Today will be more of introduction, but before we continue, I will give you announcements so that we know what to expect as we are going forward. So number one, our journey is starting from today, which is the 1st of January. It will finish on the 31st. As I said, that it is a 31 days journey. So each episode will take about 15 minutes. All right. It will take about 15 minutes. That is the duration that we'll be using and platforms where we will be broadcasting all these things that we are dealing with here. Number one, we will be using YouTube. Okay. So you are also invited to actually like and subscribe because on YouTube, that's where most of the videos will be sorted and you can also watch them later. It's easier even if you want to share with your loved ones so that they can also listen. You understand? So the second one will be Facebook. I've got many followers on Facebook. So I will, pro I'll be broadcasting live on Facebook because I've got many followers on Facebook, but I will suggest that you like and you subscribe on YouTube because things will be sorted nicely on YouTube. So later, we will start using YouTube more than Facebook. Hallelujah. So we also have Telegram and WhatsApp groups where we are um, sharing our content. So the very same clips that we will be broadcasting live on Facebook, we will also be sharing on Telegram and on YouTube. But this one, we will just uh, post the recorded clip. It's not going to be live on those platforms, but you will get all the content there because that's what we've been doing on episode one and uh, in season one and in season two. So fourthly, we will also be broadcasting live at Logutle FM and Logutle FM, it will be quarter to five. So for 15 minutes every day from the 1st to the 31st of January, make sure that you connect with us from quarter to five to five o'clock, 15 minutes. So you can download the app from your, um, from your Play Store, Logutle, Logutle app, or you can go to www.logutle.fm because this is an internet radio station. So you can listen to it anywhere in the world. As long as you've got internet, you can connect with us. So you are welcome to ask questions. All right. But, uh, questions, you can put them on the comment sections. Number one, on Facebook, because that's where we'll be broadcasting live. Number two, on YouTube, when you watch the video, you can also put your questions there. But the most preferred uh, way, it is actually WhatsApp. I've already shared my number, so you can actually send a WhatsApp. Send me directly, then I will go through your question. Whenever I get a chance, then I will respond. But we are going to respond on episode 10. If we have questions and when we do episode 20, we will also respond. And when we do episode 30, so basically from episode one to nine, the questions that will arise there, we will put them together and do them in one session, which is episode 10. The ones that will come from episode 10 to, to 19, we will then address them on episode 20. The one that will come from episode 20 to 29, we will address them on episode 30. Then 31, we will then conclude everything. Hallelujah. So please make sure that you do share with your family and friends the links and um, the adverts and everything that has to do with this journey because it will be worth it. So for those questions, as I said, that can be sent into my WhatsApp number. And I know that some of you, maybe you are listening from the radio and you don't have my number. The WhatsApp number that I'm using, it is 072-494-3. 555. Five. I'm saying it out because some of you will be listening on the audio version of this message. So at least you will be able to get it. Hallelujah. So Bazarwane, today, um, I just want us to look at one thing before we close our session. 
uh, that thing that we are going to be looking at is why should you listen to me? A little bit about my journey. How did I come here where I started doing this? What authorizes me? What qualifies me to sit in front of you and share something that I think that you can sit and listen to and benefit from it? Hallelujah. So I got born again at an early stage. I think I was around 13, around 1994, 95. Then I grew up in church basically. But in 2009, I had a very serious encounter with the Lord. I remember because at that moment I was fasting for 60 days. And the 60 days I was just eating fruits and vegetables. But I was doing other fastings within that where I would just drink water maybe for seven days. From there when I break, I go back to fruits and vegetables. I don't think I will do something like that again because I did not have much information, but it really helped me a lot. So I had an encounter with the Lord um, at that year, 2009. It was two hours because this, it started from August um, up to December. That's when things were happening. Then October and November, these two months, that's when I was intense in prayer. So during that time, that's where Divine Courage Ministries International was birthed. All right. And the name Divine Technician that I normally use, the Divine Technician, um, it also came out of that encounter. So that is what happened in that year, 2009. Then in, in 29, okay, in 2009, I was actually called for ministry because as I said that the name Divine Courage Ministries, I received it in the very same year, 2009. So I was called into ministry. I want you to hear me and hear me very well. I was called 2009, but 2014, I was sent. Because when you call a person, you call them because you want to give them a message and send them somewhere. But when you send them, they have a message to deliver. That's why they can go out. There are many ministers who are called, but they are not sent. That's why the Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. When you are chosen, it's when you are sent. But when you are called, you we have called you to come here. And once you get here, we give you a message and you are well prepared. Then we send you. You understand? So the message that I was given in 2014... I was sent or I was given a mandate to actually raise a new generation of people that will walk in the fullness of who they are in Christ. That is my calling. I mainly deal with that. That is why you will notice that in most of my teachings, I normally deal with identity and also mind renewal or mind transformation because we are raising a new generation of people that will walk in the fullness of who they are in Christ. So our vision is mainly based on Ephesians chapter 14, or oh sorry, Ephesians chapter 4, where the Bible talks about uh, God, God having given us gifts, some apostles, some prophets, some uh, evangelists, pastors and teachers or pastors who teaches. It says for the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry until we all come to the unity of faith and to the full stature of Jesus Christ. So basically, our job, or let me say my job, is to raise people, is to equip them so that they come to the full stature of Jesus Christ. Do you understand? That is why I am called to raise a new generation of people that will walk in the fullness of who they are in Christ. Amen, Bazalwan. I hope and I believe that we understand each other. So now, in 2016, because 2014, when I was sent, we started the ministry. Then 2016, we were having a conference. My uh, mentor, Apostle Begutwala, was ministering there, talking about the power, the, the tower of Babel. And when he was ministering, he was talking about the unity, that these people were, same, were, same, were in the same mind and were speaking the same language. And God said, there is nothing that they will do and fail. So whatever it is that they sent or that they set their minds in doing, they will be successful. Then let's go down and confuse them so that they don't con continue. At that moment, I received a message in my heart where the Lord said, there are many facets in a diamond. There are many facets in a diamond. So I was a person who was so obsessed with a uh, power. You understand? I really wanted to see power in everything that I'm doing. And um, I wanted to see results 
because I believe that if you heal the sick, if you raise the dead, and if you do all these powerful things, then you can be more effective in the ministry. That's where my focus was. And not necessarily that those things are not working or they are not necessary, but the problem is that you go after that without having proper knowledge of how things work. So when the Lord said there are many facets in a diamond, he then said, work your ground. I remember because I went up and I announced that this is what the Lord is saying. So I started to understand that when the Lord says work your ground, it has to do with the mind and the heart. Because in Matthew chapter 13, the Bible talks about a sower who went to sow a seed. And it talks about four kinds of ground. That one seed fell on a rocky ground, another fell by the wayside, another fell by a thorny ground. And when you look at that, there is one seed that fell on a fertile ground. But even the one that fell on a fertile ground, it did not produce the same way. Some produced in 30-fold, some in 60-fold, and some in 100-fold. So meaning the ground is the condition of the heart. Now, the Bible calls it the heart, but it is actually called the subconscious mind. That is the language that we, is well known in these days. So when the Bible talks about the heart, it's not talking about the cardio, the heart that pumps blood, but it talks about it, the subconscious mind, all right? So now, when the Lord said, work your ground, I understood what it meant. Then I started going around making a research studies, studying, you know, trying to find out how the mind works, how the subconscious mind works. It was a very um, nice and challenging journey. And um, that led me to a journey where I was trying to find out how the universe works, you know, because there is a way that the universe works and also how things work why things happen the way that they do. So it was all part of my journey, the researches that I was doing, you understand. And because of the mandate that I was given and the job that I was given by the Lord, then now I had to learn, grow and become a different person who will match my mandate. So the old Lenik had to die, you understand. And I'm going to talk more as we continue with our journey to give you more information on what happened in some of my experiences i mean bazalwan but then in that chain i started understanding scriptures like proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 the bible says guard your heart remember a heart is a subconscious mind it's a mind that can be trained trained the mind that stores information it says guard your heart above all else for out of it comes the issues of life Wow, I realized that some of the things I've been praying for, I did not have to pray for them because they are actually coming from the heart. There is nothing that God will do because it's the condition of my heart that will determine if I qualify to get those things or not. And also scriptures like uh, Proverbs chapter 27 verse 3. It says, as the man thinketh in his heart, in his subconscious mind, so is he. Then I realized that the identity has to do with your subconscious mind, the conditioning of your heart, the way that you view yourself or what we call the self-image, you understand. So it was a, it, it was a very interesting journey. I'm still walking in that journey. But I just want to close today's session with um, Matthew chapter 6, verse 22 and 23. It says, the eye is the lamp of the body. So if your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. It says, but if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great is the darkness? So now, when the Bible says the eye is the lamp of the body, I want you to understand that the eye is not the optical eye, but it is how you view things. When you read it in Amplified, it is actually clear. It's how you view things. So basically, it's perception. So perception is the lamp of the body. When we are talking about the body, you, you are a community of 50 trillion cells. So there are living entities, 50 trillion living entities in your body that forms this person that we are looking at now called you. 
Do you understand? So if perception is the light of the whole body, it means that light is the light that affects every fiber of your being and all the cells in your body. It says if your eye is healthy. In other words, the way that you perceive the truth, the way that you view things, if it is healthy and if it is good, if it is okay, it says then your whole body will be full of light. You know? But it says, but if your eye is bad, in other words... If you don't perceive things right, it says that then your whole body will be full of darkness, meaning you will be in the dark. You won't benefit from the light of God. You understand? And then it says, if then the light in you, the light we are talking about knowledge, if the knowledge, the information and the understanding that you have, what you think is right, if it is wrong, in other words, you think you see right and what you are looking at is wrong. You devote your whole life in something which is wrong. It says then how gross is the darkness? How bad is the darkness? So is it possible then that the reason why things are happening the way they are happening in our lives, it is because we don't perceive right? Oh, what we think is right, it's actually wrong. Brothers and sisters, this is the end of today's episode. Please join me on the second episode tomorrow at the same time. May God bless you.